Each while, hello, bonjour. Asiem nesieya. Asiem nesieya anta Mary Point, tenitzanach ho matquiem. I tenitzanach ho YVR. I at i ktsamaltsam, ktsamaltsam, ami tsepkwatquilem. In the language of my ancestors, I said good day uh, to friends and respected visitors. Um, my name is Mary Point. I'm from Musqueam. I'm also from YVR. Today, we're sitting in my office at the airport, which is located in the Musqueam village of Ktsamaltsam, once known as the Blueberry Forest, a place of abundance. So I'm mindful every day when I come to work that I'm walking and working where my ancestors once walked and lived and thrived until they were rudely asked to leave, but where many still rest. So I try to honor their time on this island in everything that we do. And the last words I said, all are welcome to enter this place. I found out recently in the last couple of years that I have osteoporosis and I've been on a bit of a learning journey and it's been a time of reflection. What led to my diagnosis was sort of a series of events over the last decade or so. I'm a very busy person. I do a lot of events. I used to work in my home community of Musqueam where we had 14 facilities, so I was always running between them. And I fell a number of times, and I just put it down to being in a rush and maybe some uneven ground. But I think when I broke my pelvis a couple of years ago in February, uh, the ER doctor looked at my list of breakages and felt it was time for a checkup and to see if there might be a little something more going on. Osteoporosis is a medical condition that leads to an increased risk of bone fracture. We tend to think of initially osteoporosis being a silent disease patients often don't know that they have osteoporosis. But with time, particularly when there is a fracture or a broken bone, then that makes an impact on an individual's function and their ability to care for themselves or their family. There are many different risk factors, and I usually group them into things that we can't change and things that we can. So as we get older, uh, there is an increased risk of bone fracture or osteoporosis. Osteoporosis affects women more than men. Uh, and as we get older, both men and women can be affected. There are risk factors that, um, that we can change. And so some of those risk factors include our nutrition, activity, some habits that we might have. And so things like taking appropriate amounts of vitamin D, calcium and also um, exercise that helps with strength training, balance um, and weight bearing exercise can be very helpful. Well I know here at the airport um, where I work it's the biggest building in BC, three and a half million square feet and I cover most of it most days. So just being mindful about um, movement and unwinding uh, so that I don't have any more trip and falls. When I started in practice, it was clear that we needed to make an impact on osteoporosis. And I started by giving sessions uh, of education and even collaborated with a colleague in Fraser Health, Dr. Sonia Singh. And then later I got involved with some of that research, working on understanding a fracture liaison service. A fracture liaison service is a program where patients who have come to the hospital with a fracture have been identified as having had that fracture and then followed up with in a standardized way, identified that they have had a fracture, the diagnosis of osteoporosis, and then have had investigations and then hopefully led to an initiation of treatment. There's always uh, an opportunity to improve care and access to care. I'm hoping that with some of the research efforts that we're currently undertaking, that will hopefully be able to highlight areas where the, there are these challenges and gaps in care to be able to bring attention to them so that then what follows is improvement in that access to care. Access to care for Indigenous peoples 
has always been a, a bit of a struggle. The more that we come together uh, to uh, share research, to participate in trials, that ensures us as Indigenous people maybe wider access to better care going forward. Currently, the BC Coalition of Osteoporosis Physicians is working with a specific First Nations community to develop uh, research initiatives within that community to further evaluate the access to osteoporosis care and look at actual interventions that could improve the identification, investigation, and, and initiation of treatment. I think what most people should understand about osteoporosis is that in this day and age, you don't need to uh, be fragile. There is help, there is medication, there is treatment, it, and it frees us up to be who we always were.